Welcome to another episode in the series of short films highlighting new functions and application software in the EC Laser E Series alignment system. My name is Michael Turner and I'm an area sales manager at Damalini, manufacturer of EC Laser. Today we're going to talk about E940 machine tool system. The E940 is a complete system for alignment of all types of machine tools such as lathes, milling machines, automatic drills, presses, and water cutting machines. With the E940 you can check for example straightness, spindle direction, spindle to spindle, squareness, flatness, bearing play, and bearing condition. The E940 uses what we call Hyper PSD technology. This allows for the highest resolution in the marketplace, down to one tenth of a thousandth of a millimeter. Today I have invited Elif Johansson, our product specialist, to show us how the machine tool measurement is done. Welcome Elif and thank you for joining us. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. First of all, why should I use the laser while aligning my machine tools? If you compare the conventional methods, uh, the laser is much more quicker, it's uh, easier to use, uh, and first of all you can measure much more accurate. And don't forget the documentation from the system. Okay. Uh, so you're going to do two different measurements, which one are you going to start with? Uh, we're going to start with the straightness measurement, which is the most important for all machines. And uh, then we continue with the, the, the spindle direction. Okay. Yeah. Right, Elif, the machine is yours. Thank you. Using a D22 laser transmitter, we will measure the vertical movement of the spindle. The detector is mounted in the spindle using the supplied bracket. The straightness program is found under the straightness icon in the E940 alignment system. First we enter the vertical distances at which we're going to take our measurement points. In this case we're going to measure a total of 150 millimeters spaced 30 millimeters apart. Alif registers the first point close to the laser transmitter. He then proceeds to move the spindle 30 mm before registering the next point. A total of six points will be measured along the travel of 150 mm. When you have collected the last set of data, you can move into result screen. Here you can see the max, minimum, peak to peak, standard deviation, RMS, and waviness. Pushing the Chevron button, you can access the ISO tolerance settings. In this measurement, you can see the points 2 to 5 are out of tolerance. Once the alignment job is finished, you save it and the system automatically generates a PDF alignment report. The next measurement we'll make is spindle direction. In spindle direction, we are using the S and the M measuring units from the E940 system. Before measuring, Alif is setting up the laser in the chuck. The application program is found under the spindle icon. First we enter the dimensions. Take the first measurement, then rotate the spindle 180 degrees and take the second measurement. Then move the spindle the required distance, in this case 200 mm, and take the third measurement. Rotate the spindle 180 degrees again, and take the fourth and last measurement. The measurement shows that the spindle is off in one direction according to the ISO tolerance standard. Save the measurement and generate the PDF report. Remember, the E940 is capable of aligning all types of machines 
and it can measure, for example, straightness, spindle direction, squareness, flatness, bearing play, and bearing condition. Well, thank you for that demonstration, Alif. It was a pleasure. If you have any further questions, please feel free to send an email to info at Thank you for watching.